the P word. I mentioned it before, if anybody's actually heard me. And the P word, it's something that is by far the most important aspect of a photograph or specifically a vlog. The P word for me is more important than the end photograph, the end vlog, the narrative, the location, the planning, everything you can think about that goes into making a vlog. The P word is more important for me. If you've got the P word, you've got me hooked. And there are vloggers that have this in absolute oodles. There are those who deliver it in an extrovert style, quite loud, gesticulating, excited, quite a visual expression. And you've got the more introverted vloggers who are very considered, calm, reserved, but no equal, but they've got it in equal amounts as the more extrovert vloggers. Now, obviously what I'm talking about is passion. I suspect everybody's guessed it, even though I labored the point. And examples of people who've got the P word, well, everybody who I am still, sub still subscribed has got the P word for me. The more extrovert of them are Paul Compton, who's extremely excitable. That's a compliment. Um, and a more introverted vlogger would be Sean Tucker, who's very calm, considered, um, rather introverted, but passionate nonetheless. These, and all the vloggers I watch, have got passion. I can forgive a photograph that's average. I can forgive a vlog that's average. I can forgive narrative that's average if they've got and they convey passion. Now, whilst I was preparing this vlog, and it always sounds bitter in my head, I thought the people who I'm talking about, the people who I'm subscribed to, and the people I've mentioned may think, so thinks I've got passion, but I'm average at everything else. I don't mean that at all. It's just a way I try, I'm trying to, to convey what I mean by passion. It's that excitedness, that giddiness, that sense that you don't really care about how you come across, that you get up early, you stay out late, your delivery styles from there. Yeah. Your delivery styles from there. With a bit of there, obviously. So yeah, have passion. I may not come across as having passion sometimes. I, I feel I've got a rather flat delivery style. But believe me, I've got passion in buckets. I've been everywhere over the last few years. I've seen some absolutely wonderful sights, met some absolutely wonderful people. And the passion I've got for being in places like this really does make me get excited about getting up early, staying out late. Anyway, on to the video. The sea is coming in quite nicely. The wind picks up now and again, but that's not too much of a problem. I've just done a short, just done a short time lapse using the rocks just there as the foreground and getting them covered. I'm hoping the tide comes in quite a lot higher. The water's still wet going back a good, probably a good, a good three meters, a good three meters. And it's not due to about another 40 minutes before it's fully high tide. So I'm hoping it comes in a bit further. I would like for the land at the base of the church to be submerged in water. That was what I would really, really like. But I don't think that's gonna happen. Another time, maybe. So I've been doing some quite long exposures using that 
but I'll probably it slowed down. The section there just leading me quite quite high in. But even though I'm at 40 mil, the church still looks a little bit farther away, so far away. So I may come back. Oh, that lights. So I may come back slightly and put my longer lens on. Just so I've got just so I've got that kind of area just around. I've only just realised I can point <laughs> rather than looking. So I've got just about that area in there. Very difficult to get something that's uh, original, extremely difficult. Probably the most of the places I go, getting something original is becoming increasingly harder. But that doesn't put me off going there at all. I think one day I'm actually going to go onto that church and stay on there while the tide comes in and goes out. The actual rocks at the base look like they're wet, so I'm, come on, look at the old surface. Whoa. So I'm hoping I can get a bit more water in. Sun's coming out, clouds are improving. Wow, all is good, all is good. It was forecast to continue to rain until around one or two o'clock, but it's stopped early. Thumbs up to those who can remember the names of places, because I'll be buggered if I can. Yep, finish here, head somewhere else, have something to eat, even though I had a late breakfast, and plan sunset. I was tempted to get up to Moyles for high tide tomorrow, but high tide down there is not a while around three o'clock. And that's a little bit too late for me. Anyway, catch you soon. See ya.